The center of mass of an object is the place, a specific point in the object where the whole mass of the object can be thought to be concentrated. And you can find the center of mass of a symmetric object because it's going to be along the object's axis of symmetry. So for example, if we take these three objects here, this trapezium shape has only got one axis of symmetry. And so we know that the center of mass must lie somewhere along that line. We could find where the center of mass is exactly by hanging it from a, a pin at a corner and also hanging a plumb line. And we've looked at that in, a, in another flashcard as to uh, describing an experiment as to how to find the center of mass of an irregular shape. For a triangle, this is an isosceles triangle which only has one axis of symmetry. So the same thing applies here. The center of mass will be somewhere along that axis of symmetry. And as there's more mass over here, it's likely that the center of mass will be lower down. For the rectangle, we actually have two axes of symmetry, one there and one there. And that's great because it means that we can accurately pinpoint the center of mass. It must be where the axes of symmetry cross. So we have the center of mass at the center as shown there. It's worth pointing out that some objects can have a center of mass which is not actually in the material. It can be outside of the shape. And in this case, we have a ring. And if we look at the axes of symmetry, we can see that the center of mass occurs in the middle, as you would expect. But that is outside of the actual shape itself. But that's the position where all of the mass of the object appears to act so that's how you can find the center of mass of symmetric objects.